Okay, I keep forgetting how to uh, <coughs> enable these uh, role and membership managers for uh, entity entity frameworks for Visual Studio. So I'm just going to make a video for myself here so I can keep uh, reminding myself to figure out how to do this. So um, first thing I'll need to do is uh, I need to open up uh, SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, right now I think I have 2012 Express. And yeah, I do. So I'm just going to open this up really quick. I'm just going to add a new database here. And I'm not going to do much with it. I'm just going <coughs> to I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to name it EF test database. I'll just name it that for now. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll figure something else later. All right. So then all I got to do is open up my databases here. There it is. Let's see. So there's nothing in it right now. I haven't done anything to it. All right. So let's see. So I'm going to go start all programs. Uh, not SQL Server, Visual Studio, there we go. Visual Studio Tools. And then we need to open the developer command prompt because that's what we can use to run this tool. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm on the ASP.NET website. Uh, this is just ASP.NET. If you go to learn uh, let me see here. I want to make sure I can make it back. Let's see. Security membership. Okay. So let's see. So if I go to ASP.NET and I go to learn, MVC, security, security, is this going to take me where it wants to go? No, this isn't going to take me. This is going to take me at stupid plural site here. Let me see. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, there's all sorts of all sorts of crap here. That's not what I want, though. I'm under web forms. What is this? This is ASP.NET. Security membership, huh? Oh, it must just be under just security. I see. If I just want to just to learn, oh no, I guess not. If I went just to security and I went to Let's see. Let's try this guy. Nope, oh, that's not it. I'm not sure. We'll have to navigate it. Maybe I'll just put the link in. That'll just be way freaking easier. Okay. Anyways, um, I'll just put the link in for myself. Anyways, uh, you need to scroll down a little bit here. It's going to talk a little bit about the tables that you're going to have inserted and everything. I'll tell you the walkthrough. Um, things to include for your uh, web config and all that and ways to test it so um so that's a quick little tutorial in case you want to figure that out uh and this uh, personally i've already figured that out so uh i just need to start up the uh console so that it will already automatically generate this for me and where did it go? I had a uh, SQL membership. Uh, I created a database. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see, role provider. Here we go. So note. So this will talk about uh, step two here. talks about adding the SQL membership provider schema to the database. Uh, if you just go in the little note section, just, I don't know, you you can use the tool too, I don't know, it's, I, 
it's not really any easier or harder, I guess, so I'm just going to copy this little bit here, open up my developer console, um, run it, and all I did it was right-click paste, because you can't hit control V. This fun little wizard shows up, and uh, we can remove application services from a database. We're not going to do that. We, we actually want these services, so I'm just going to hit next again. And uh, this doesn't do us any good because it's going to connect and it's going to tell us that timed out because there's no server there. What you actually need is SQL Express because that's what I have installed if I go to my computer. Let me uh, see what's going on here. Users. Yeah, so you have uh, SQL Express installed. So, All right, and then... Uh, yeah, just do Windows authentication because the database, we didn't set a password or anything for it. And um, we named it EF Test Database. I'm going to hit next. Um, I'm just going to hit next again. And yeah, it's pretty quick and pretty easy, pretty painless. So all it did was it generated a bunch of role and membership tables for us and a bunch of other fun um, things. So it's a lot of work that you don't have to implement. And uh, maybe I'll make a video or two for myself here to go through and really figure out how those are implemented. Um, but let's just make sure it's there to tell ourselves it's there. This is our EF test database. I'm going to tell it to refresh because... Uh, Nothing's better than looking through and thinking something's there and it's not. All right, there we go. Yeah, so you can see it, before there was nothing there, and now there's all these nice generated tables for ourselves. So, yeah, so, yeah, we can see all the columns and everything. Generated a lot of nice yeah, application ID, username, lower. Yeah, so, great. All right, sweet. All right, well, that's... uh. Hopefully one thing we will not have to deal with. So, all right, that uh, ends this video.